Because mm. having said all of that, and having said, oh, science might explain it one day, and maybe it's better in line with Gnostic theology, it is weird that the, these constants that are fundamental to the universe's existence, not the distance of the Earth from the sun, because there are billions of planets, but yeah, the, yeah. You know, the, the, the strength of gravity that allows atoms to form is on a knife edge. Is that, is that at least pro-theism, or are you so sort of confident that it makes the, the Paley mistake that you, know, you, you think you know, it, it shouldn't even really count in favour of, of theism? I found it the most persuasive argument for theism when I first came into contact with it. Uh -huh. But then uh, I thought a bit more about it and looked at the evidence that we might be living in a multiverse. Yep. And that seems to strip away all of the uh, probabilistic weight to the fine-tuning argument. So right. if we are living in a multiverse where, if it's an infinite multiverse, then everything that can happen does happen in either distant bubbles of universe domains or expanding, contracting universes for all of time or however the universe is configured. Then, of course, there would be a universe that's conducive to life. Mm. And that's why we happen to be in it, because yeah. everything that can happen does happen. I think if the universe, a similar point to the point that your friend made, if the universe was designed with life in mind, we've looked at a lot of other planets now in our vicinity and we've not found anything yet. I said earlier, I think we're going to find it at some point. I think it's very unlikely that life isn't out there. Mm. But if the universe was designed for life, mm -hmm. why don't we see life in abundance? But it only happened here mm. once because the universe wasn't designed for life, for human life in particular. And if it's evidence for theism, it's evidence for a strange kind of God, uh -huh. in my view. I know you've already made this point already, but why would God create a potentially infinitely expansive yeah, right. universe just for humans? But why such an expansive universe if it's just for humans? And why would the Earth be 4.5 billion years old if humans have only been alive for 200,000 years? If the point was humans, why not put us there from the beginning? Yeah, that, that's a difficult thing to square, I suppose.